Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Peter Damian. Peter Onesti, the youngest of many children in the poor but noble Ravenna family, was orphaned at an early age and sent to tend swine by one of his brothers. But his piety and intellectual gifts prompted another of his brother, the archpriest Damian of Ravenna, to pay for his education. Peter, in gratitude, added the name Damian to his own. His subsequent progress was so rapid that at the age of 25, he was already noted as a teacher at Ravenna and at Parma. Peter Damian found life in these university towns so worldly and distracting that in the year 1034, he went on to become a hermit monk in the Benedictine establishment at Fonte Avellana in the Apennines, which was known for the severity of its rule. However, the extremity of the penances he subjected himself to brought about a temporary breakdown in his health, whereupon he was appointed to give spiritual discourses to the monks both in his own and neighboring monasteries. Peter was particularly devoted to Our Lady. At the age of 36, he became abbot of Fonte Avellana and remained so until his death 29 years later. As such, he wisely moderated the rule, established the regular use of the principle and founded a number of dependent hermitages. Together with his friend Hildebrand, the future great reformer, Pope Gregory VII, he strove continually by the written and spoken word to combat and correct the scandalous abuses then widespread in the church, namely incontinence, luxury and laxity among the clergy, the buying and selling of church beneficiaries and papal schisms. Peter is best known for his terrible indictment of the clergy, the Liber Gomarianus, published in 1051, and the Liber Gratismus, which concerned itself with the validity of simonical ordinations. In the year 1057, Pope Stephen X made him Cardinal Bishop of Ostia, which he reluctantly accepted under the pain of excommunication. Besides being administrator of the Diocese of Gubbio, Peter served seven successive popes and remarkably well on various delicate missions as papal legate and visitor of bishoprics and abbeys. When returning to Rome from one such assignment in the Archdiocese of Ravenna, Peter fell critically ill and died on the 22nd of February 1072. He was buried in the Cathedral of Faenza and though never formally canonized, was declared a doctor of the church in 1028. Saint Peter Damian is invoked against headaches because of his having suffered greatly from the malady himself.